Wave 4, tape 3, free flow 12. This is the first time that a tape took me four tries to get it right, to make it work. So I did this tape four times. This tape is basically an unguided meditation. Bob Monroe gives us some instructions at the beginning of the tape, but for most of the tape, we are alone. We, we don't have guidance, I mean. So in this tape, we, are, we have more freedom to do what we want, to go where we want, and use the tools that we want. All the tools that we have at our disposal, this is a tape where we have the choice to use them as we want. So this is a tape where we get into Focus 12, and then we are free to do what we want. So the reason why I think it took me four tries for it to work is because I'm not used to unguided uh, tapes. Usually I, I want some direction because I kind of felt like I didn't know which direction to go into. Um, and the other thing is that without Monroe's voice, it's more difficult for me to be aware that I'm still awake. Usually when I hear Bob Monroe's voice, it's like a reminder to me that I am still awake. So, the first three times that I did this tape, I fell asleep. I would wake up like an hour after the tape finished. So, maybe that's a cool thing, how the tape can make you feel so relaxed and that if you need some rest or more energy, it, it could work. But I think that wasn't the main purpose of this tape. So, a couple of interesting things happened. First of all, I think, that the first three times that I did the tape, it wasn't a waste of time. I realized on the fourth time, I remembered the things that happened the first time that I did the tape. But when I'm in a focus one, I don't remember those things. It's only when I reach, when I'm in focus 12 that I remember what happened. What happened was that in the first tapes, I did get uh, very strong visuals that were moving. So I was watching scenes. And I only remember that when, I, again, I did a tape fourth time. So two really powerful things happened to me with this tape. The first one, so you know how we can use any tools we want. I am a big fan of the energy bar tool. I think it's a really versatile tool that we can do many things with. I used this tool to try and communicate with someone another real person, I tried to send them a message. I did this experiment, so I, the first time I tried to contact someone, and then after the tape I asked them if they felt my, my presence or any sign. They said they did. It could have been a coincidence, but I asked and they said that on that same day, they can't remember the time, but they did. They, they felt like I was above them, and, and they, they saw me for like half a second. So that's, that's, that's one thing. The second time is I tried it again. I tried it again with the same person. This time I, I said, if you hear or feel this message, send me a message on my phone. Send me a message. If you can feel my presence or have a feeling that I'm trying to contact you. This part I did it the fourth try right on the fourth time I tried a tape I did this experiment after that tape I checked my phone and I had a message from that person I don't think it was a coincidence because we only talk every two or three days so the timing of sending me a message when I finished the tape I have that message that was very interesting so that happened twice where I was able to have some sort of power to communicate or make my presence known to someone. Okay, the second thing that happened, this is the big one, this is the powerful one. This is, I think, a big benefit of this tape. And I believe other people have also had similar experiences. We can receive new information in a better way than other tapes, more clearly, more defined, more meaning, not really random. And the way the message appears is different. It's in visuals. That's what happened to me. So the fourth try, I, I asked some questions. And immediately I would receive 
I would see these visuals and again the visuals in the state are moving so I'm looking at things that are moving so I asked specific questions and I received answers in the form of images and it was new information things that I did not think about before so when I'm asking a question about something I am receiving information that I think about before and that I don't have access to in focus one I receive images as answers I will, and, and after the tape, I do research about that and they are very meaningful Im images. They do provide solutions to my questions. One, one of them is really, really big. Like, I, I, I still need to find, I saw an image of someone and that person could have the solution to one of my questions, but I'm, I'm trying to find that person. I can't remember their name, so it's kind of hard. So I did receive new information. So this tape is very powerful and there's many things we can do with it. It might take several tries to understand it, but I think a cool power that I, I might have developed is knowing how to use the tools in unguided meditations without Bob Monroe's voice or directions. That is very strong. That means that I built a skill where I can use some of the skills without a tape. That is very cool. Soon I will try to make a video where we can talk about how we can use some of the skills in our real life, in everyday life. How are we going to use all of these things that we are learning and doing in the tapes. So something else happened is that the fourth time when I was awake for all the tape, it literally felt like five minutes. But it was like half an hour, right? The tape felt like five minutes. That was a very strange feeling. Another thing that happened, every time I did a tape, after it, I get very hungry, very, very hungry. So th that was a new feeling, very interesting, how I get really hungry after doing a tape. So I really believe this tape is powerful and that I reached a new level. There's two, two new things. So I can have unguided meditations, try some of the skills without guidance from Bob Monroe's voice. And the second thing is that I do have a new way to receive information, deep information, through visuals and then focus toilet. So this is really powerful and very interesting, and I think it's going to help a lot with the next tapes. I really wish that you're going to have an amazing journey. I hope to hear your experience with this tape, and I'm going to be in touch soon. Wave 4 is very exciting. There's a lot of big things coming, and I'm very, uh, I'm looking forward to it.